Morning, YouTubians. Uh, touchy subject. Hope nobody takes offense to this. The Tennessee shooting. A transgender person did that. Now, okay, this looks like another push to do another agenda. Gun control and possibly stereotyping transgenders. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I knew a guy in the Marine Corps who was gay, okay? He was gay, and he recently, as of 2021, after COVID started dying down, went full trans, and now he's a she. Now, the thing is, it's like, okay, I knew about this person's secret for a long time, and, you know, I'm not going to say any names, I'm not going to say the person's name, but the thing is, you know, he told me, or she, she told me that, you know, don't say anything to anybody, you know, because, you know, people would end up judging him and hating him, and he'd probably get kicked out of the military, but here's the thing, I kept a secret, you know, Semper Fi, I rat, I fry, simple, I'm not a rat. But, you know, the thing is, now it's it's just that, okay, a transgender went over there and fired a weapon and killed some people. Okay, that's sad. It really is sad. But, here's the thing. People are now, you know, judging very hastily. Oh, see, I told you, this, this gun's dangerous, that gun's dangerous, that person's dangerous. Well, I can be straightforward about this, you know. That affects us legal, legal gun owners. That affects us just as well as anybody else and the victims. Here's the thing. I know how to take apart a Glock 17. I know how to take apart an MMP shield. I know how to take apart a Beretta. I know how to take apart a shotgun and put it back, all put that back together. You see, the thing is, if I don't know the inner workings of a firearm, or if I don't even try to learn, I just say, okay, I'll just buy bullets and go boom, boom. No, if I don't know how those weapons work, then I don't need to own them. But yet everybody wants to judge you so hastily about, okay, um, this happens, so anybody with a gun or owns a gun is dangerous. No, that is not how that works. How it works is that a person that owns a gun and is of sane mind, such as me, Tray 57, DIs, T Electric, Yoki Stirrup, Red Phoenix, love you, ready. And now, um, Bootsy, Bootsy on the beat. We're all responsible gun owners. We know how our firearms work. I do not have the urge, and I repeat this I do not have the urge to go outside my house with a goddamn shotgun or any firearm and start creating panic and mayhem. You know, they run hand in hand. So people should stop. I am a responsible gun owner. Quotations, please. Responsible gun owner. Now, that person that did the shooting in Tennessee, not judging. I don't judge. Because like I said, if I can keep a secret of a person being a future transgender... What does that tell you about uh, all of us being gun owners? Now, like I said, I don't have no urge to go outside my house and shoot nobody. You know, I do not. None of us do. Except there are psychopaths. And just like in a video that Trey 57 did, Stop the Violence, these people never learn. They don't learn. They don't care. They don't, they're not bound by rules like we are. You know, just to buy a firearm, you got to do tons of paperwork. And fuck, I got a paper cut the last time I filled out a form to pick up a firearm. Jesus. I mean, paperwork. I mean, they make it, they're trying to make it so hard to buy a firearm, it's sad. So now they're going to use this Tennessee shooting as an excuse. Okay. And then they're probably going to um, deny, um, firearm sales to transgenders possibly right now that's the way it looks right now so just look at it this way 
you know, it's never going to be a perfect world. And if it was a perfect world, believe me, there would be more crime in a perfect world. I'd rather stick with this world and live with this world. This world is just as perfect for me. So, people, understand this. We are, I am a safe gun owner. Trey 57 is a safe gun owner. T Electric is a safe gun owner. You think we want our Second Amendment rights taken away? DI's is a safe gun owner. And Bootsy on the Beat is a safe gun owner. And Bootsy, get a shotgun, trust me. Those shotguns are awesome. <laughs> Clear the room, blow the rust off somebody's butt, aye? Aye, mate? But anyhow, like I said, we're all safe gun owners. So, before people try to judge us, understand this. If nothing's happened, then you got nothing to worry about. Because most likely, it's somebody like me, Trey57, DIs, and the list goes on, that'll end up stopping the threat before it even begins but the thing is these things happen not so often they're pretty much unpredictable so before you start judging why don't you look at the facts before you think you see in order to have a thought which politicians don't in order to have a thought you gotta think which you don't do very well or at all so before you judge us why don't you trust us take care